Oh, hey guys. Hey, this is E, and today I will be talking about sound. And talking about sound, I apologize for my voice. I'm a bit under the weather, but nevertheless, let's talk about soundproofing. In one of my previous videos, I showed you that soundproofing my room and removing the echo is my priority because I am struggling with uh, the edits of uh, my voice and the uh, overall vocals that come out in this space here. So I really wanted to fix that. In order to do that, I ordered some acoustic foam. I'm not sure what it's called. I ordered it from Amazon and let me tell you a little bit about it. Now this thing is one out of 48 pieces uh, kit and it comes in black and silver or dark gray and white or whatever you call it but 48 pieces of these which i'm planning to stick on the wall now i don't have a specific plan on where i'm going to be placing them but i'm sure that it's going to be somewhere in front of me and one of the problems that i have right now is that what you are seeing right now is the camera standing on the shelf so i really don't have a perfect wall behind this camera that you're looking through but nevertheless, I'm gonna stick those on the shelves and on the, on the doors as well. And maybe some on the ceiling. So with this being said, I wanted to make an experiment. The sound that you're hearing right now will not be edited in any way. It will just be equalized so that there's no peaks and downs. And I will raise the volume just a little bit, nothing else. I will not make any changes to it. The same metrics that I apply to this sound right now, I will apply to the end result once I place uh, the foams on the wall and on the ceiling and we'll compare them and see how it works. I'm very excited. I actually don't know what to expect, but let me give you a bit of a background. Now, where I live, there's not many choices or places where I can find such materials. So my only and easiest way to do that was Amazon. I ordered this 48 piece kit online, hoping that they will arrive from UK because I ordered them from the UK site, me being in Europe. At the end of the day, I got a phone call from customs saying, hey, you have a package from Hong Kong, come and pick it up. Let me give you a bit of advice. Now, 48 pieces of these is pretty much uh, my entire ceiling of the bedroom. There's a lot of pieces, but all of them come stacked with the air being sucked out of them. So the actual package is probably yay big. Uh, containing all 48 pieces of them. So when you unwrap them, you have to find a place where you can uh, easily uh, scatter them and give them about 24 hours for them to rise up and uh, come up to this shape. So actually 24 hours is what they said. I left them for a bit, a bit longer because I had other work anyways. So now all of them look like this and there's no way for me to stack them and wrap them up the way they came in but that's not the point. Another thing that I ordered was those, uh, or this actually 3M tape that should be easy to apply on the back and install, but I only have a four, a single piece or uh, four little stickies. And that was all in the package, even though I ordered uh, a full pack that will uh, match the number of the several problems that I have. Only that arrived in the mail, which was fine. I didn't care that much because I got the good old double-sided tape. Now, I didn't get the strongest because I wasn't sure if I want to remove those pieces from the wall and from the ceiling at some point. So I didn't really, I really didn't want to mess up my walls and the ceiling. So without further ado, let's roll those time-lapse shots and see how everything fits and then come back and compare the sound that it comes out with those babies applied on the wall and on the ceiling as well. Every day is no end Since I was told that you don't want me Baby, you're just calling You know I try to hold on to it That's how you move
And it's three, it's three days later. Why you might ask? Well, once I put all the pieces on the wall, I found them on the floor the next day. And it turns out double-sided tape was a bad choice. Maybe I didn't get the right double-sided tape, but again, I didn't really want to ruin the wall because if you have double-sided tape installed, then you have to, if you remove the, all the acoustic pieces, then you have to sand it and it takes way more time to remove properly. So instead I got a double-sided, oh. So instead I bought a staple gun and that was five times faster to put all the pieces together. Also, I created like a fake door, a board, which I hung on the uh, wardrobe door for several reasons. I wanted to save the door from any glue or staples or anything like that. Also, I can flip the door to, in the direction that I want to. And also I can remove that entire contraption and use it in different places around the house if I want to dampen the sound, which was a great solution. Now, did it work? You tell me in the comment section below, but I can tell you that once I get into the room now, I feel way different. The sound is, the sound of my voice sounds different. It's so much quieter. I feel like I am in a recording studio, which I'm not. I'm in my own studio and I'm so excited. Hopefully with this video, I gave you sort of like an inspiration or an idea of how you can solve your own sound problems using affordable methods. In the description of this video, you'll find the link for the panels that I purchased. Now keep in mind 48 pieces is plenty. So you might go for that. I think they have a 24 piece kit as well. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer them. I know that this is not the most professional way to go, but I think it will work for me great. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a pleasure. This is E, over and out. Well, hopefully, hopefully this, hopefully. <clears throat> so hopefully, so hopefully this, so hopefully this,